everyone. I am feeling uh, a lot better today. My foot's certainly a lot better. It's still sore and I have to walk slow, but definitely getting a bit more movement back in my ankle. So slowly but surely it's getting better. I realized, oh, I can't remember I said already to you yesterday that that's the ankle that I broke. And it's also the one that I um, injured when we were up in Cairns a couple of years back. And I thought at that stage it was broken, but it was just a bad sprain. Uh, and I can't remember if I injured it another time, but it's certainly the same ankle. It's obviously a weak ankle, I'm assuming, from having broken it many years ago. But it's getting better, so hopefully next week we'll sort of be back to normal. I'll just keep... Well, Kevin's going to be away, so I'm about to get plenty of rest, and there's not a lot to do. I'm trying to tidy up today because I believe the owner of the apartment or the owner of the house is coming around. She's in town and wanted to come and have a look at a few things. I don't know if she's like a proper... I think it's kind of an inspection, but I don't know. She didn't call it an inspection. She said she wanted to look at a few things and check out the, so the state of the gardens and stuff because we don't maintain the garden she does so i'm not sure I, I'm, I'm just trying to tidy up and if i get a chance to clean i'll clean obviously i've been out, out of action this week more weeks to be out of action but the house is in pretty good condition like i don't have any issues about that if i can get the kitchen services wiped over and run the vacuum and mop through the floors then that will be good but if not then that's okay as well just have it how it, how it is, uh, as long as it's tidy, which the house is usually pretty tidy. I've done kind of the bedroom already, I picked up in there. <laughs> Probably the most, Kevin's getting ready to go away, so I've got a big pile of stuff in the front entry for him, but you know, that's that's life, isn't it? He's um, got stuff to take this weekend, or tonight, he's leaving tonight. I have told you, haven't I? Yeah, he's going to Charleville. Poor thing, he really does not want to go. He's got like four days of, you know, solid driving ahead. He's going to get a bit of a head start tonight. Uh, <laughs> he's going to drop, meet up with Christy when he has dinner in Goulburn. I think he's going to have dinner at Subway. He's going to meet Christy there. They'll probably have dinner together. And he's handing over some stuff for her, some lights or something for her apartment on his way up. Going a different way. We usually go to Blue Mountains way, but apparently the other way is not obviously over the mountains. So <laughs> he's going to try that way this time with the truck. So just me and the pups. I assume we're still going for lunch tomorrow with mum and dad. I hope so. I think my foot will be okay for that by then. As I said, it's getting a bit better all the time. If I can not do too much to it today. It's unfortunate because I would have taken the doggies on a walk again today, but I'll just have to miss out today unless Kevin's got time to take them before he leaves, maybe. We might just have my little sniff walk, we'll see. Um, and then I have the dog walk tomorrow, and then hopefully by then I'll be... Maybe getting back to it again. I'll just have to see. I don't want to. I want to get this better as soon as possible. So yeah, I'll try and share bits and pieces when I get up for a tea refill and bathroom break. I'm just trying to do a bit. So I did a bit in the bedroom there, and I tidied up a little bit and made the bed. Still got some things to bring out of there. But like my bedside table has been a bit messy for a while. It's really hard because it's just not our stuff. I'm just making do with what we have here. Like we have a set of three chested bedside drawers at home. But actually, it's stuff from Alaska that's there because I don't really have much stuff anymore because we decluttered so much stuff. It's going to be interesting when we go back into the into our proper house and we do have stuff upstairs. But I think that's mainly Kevin's stuff. We'll see, I guess, won't we? And what's in storage? It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've emptied the dishwasher. It wasn't much in it from yesterday. And done the dog bowl, for, put some clean water in for them. Refood Kevin's medications to go away. I do need to fill some scripts today or tomorrow so I can refill mine for the week. I've got another day or two, two days, I think. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm going to just put her away. And I don't know what time she's coming. And I only saw she is coming today. It might be tomorrow. And it was only a, I might come by for a visit. So, <laughs> the last time she was supposed to be coming for a visit, she never came. So, who knows? Hello. I'm sorry if I look a bit of a fright today. Actually, I need to go and put some moisturizer on or my hair oil on and see what my hair is doing. <laughs> I've got changed, but I haven't done anything else. 
and no eyebrows. I actually cancelled my appointment for tomorrow, well, I actually postponed it for another week and a half because I wasn't sure how my ankle was going and still to walk. I have to walk from where I park the car to the beauticians. And while it's not normally much of a walk, I don't know how it's going to feel with my ankle. It's still a bit sore. It's um, a lot better and I'm getting more motion, but it's still a bit sore. Uh, the lady's not coming today and not coming tomorrow, so it's totally off now for another few weeks. So that's very good, but I have been working on tidying the house and I'll still aim to clean it because I wanted to do that anyway. I've just um, going in the fridge and finishing off dealing with some vegetables that I got before I did my ankle. So that's spinach, that's taken out of the bag and put it in here and it should keep really well. And I've still got some other stuff to deal with, some celery that I bought and some spring onions that hopefully are still okay. Well, two days now I've had them and they just stuck them in the fridge, but in the crisper, but we'll see what they're like. If I've lost them, I've lost them. It doesn't happen too often, but you know, I don't plan on doing my ankle in and having to rest it. And I still try not to do too much today because it's still obviously getting fixed fixing itself repairing i don't know whatever anyway i didn't have a shower or a bath this morning i think i'm gonna have a bath later on probably after kevin leaves but for now i'm gonna put that back in the fridge at least that's uh, that dealt with now and yeah kevin's just, oh, sorry kevin's working from home but he's just taken the dogs on a little walk at the moment just a little sniff walk to get them out since obviously i'm not up to doing that a cup of tea sit back down and then i'll try and chop up some vegetables and let's see oh no the celery is oh, i haven't mastered i mean it's not i don't even know if it's salvageable it's probably okay for soup but it's like floppy 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 some bits are not too bad some bits are really floppy <laughs> oh my god the dogs oh yeah so it's what happens when you don't look after yourself but i you know, I couldn't. Some of it I probably can chop and um, some of it I probably just chop and keep for some soup. I think that's what I got it for. And others, I can give the dogs some, but I don't give them a heap of celery. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's quite a lot of celery. And how's my spring onion again? I should have probably, it's not too bad actually. It's probably okay. So, and I still got cabbage, but it'll be fine until I cut into it. Oh, you can't even see. Yeah, I've got my cabbage sort of cut up. So, yeah, it's a shame I didn't get to it the other day, but you know. As I said, didn't plan on hurting my ankle. I'm just taking, well Kevin's taking himself over to, to Dan's grandma. Um, yeah, we're just drop, dropping him off so he can get on his way as soon as Dan's ready since Dan's taken a lot longer than expected, but you know, it's hard to know how long it's going to take to pack stuff and Besides this morning, Dan's had to do it sort of all on his own. So, and I believe it's up and downstairs, isn't it? So it's been hard. I've got my list here. It's been a hard day. Hopefully Kevin's got everything he needs. This is what happens when Kevin goes away and leaves me. I got the dogs at dinner when they came back, so they've done that. And while they were having their dinner, I sat down to work on this puzzle. Hmm, I'm not sure what time that was, but it could be two hours ago. <laughs> Maybe an hour and a half ago. Quite a while anyway. It's a um, bit of a hard puzzle, but yeah, I've spent far too much time on it. I was going to watch a movie or something tonight, but it's getting a bit late now. So probably not, unless I start one and finish it tomorrow. But I've got to get some dinner. Uh, I might have some soup. Some sorry puppies. Is my kitchen's looking tidy. I should be able to clean it tomorrow. Are you ready for your whimsy? Oh, is that why you're upset about you being crying? I think he just wants his daddy back. I'm not gonna have for dinner. Get some soup. Mm. And you don't know what I feel like, puppy. Very cute. They're very cute. You've been crying out, haven't you? Because daddy was home. Or well, for part of the day, you think daddy should be home tonight. If I get my whimsy, that'll be okay. I was just gonna film the puppies on the bed with me, but should we hop down? Just a coat of bear. <laughs> Plenty of room. Ooh, it's cold. Yes, it's midnight. I've been on my phone 
on TikTok for hours. I do not normally do this. <laughs> it's been quite fun. I've quite enjoyed it. My oh, I did some of my people that I follow, and then I did some random stuff. But it's pretty curated my TikTok, so it's kind of a a happy little place. I hardly ever go on it, and this is probably why. But I came to bed. I've got my Kindle here. I'm reading a good book at the moment, but I thought, oh, I'll just um, I don't know what I was going to even do. Well, I picked up my phone in the first place. I couldn't tell you. And then I saw the little TikTok thing. I thought, oh, I'll just pop on TikTok for a little bit. I think it's been about three hours, which is crazy. So I'm going to stop now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why? I know, yeah, what a, what, what a lot. I mean, it's okay. I didn't have anything else to do besides read. So I was going to entertain myself in some description or another, but... Wow, that's just bonkers. <laughs> I, I do, I mean, I only go on TikTok probably not even once a week, maybe once every other week, and it's usually just for like half an hour or so. Well, I don't know what happened tonight, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to read, pray for not very long, and then go to sleep. So, good night. Someone's a bit of a bed hog. Goodness me. You're supposed to share that bed with your brother. Luckily, he's taken the big bed tonight. <laughs> My goodness. Can you know, pumpkins? Oh, good morning, everyone. It's been a slow one <laughs> after my staying up past midnight last night. I, uh, I woke up, I think, just after six. I thought, I'm going to go try and go back to sleep. And I did until like quarter past seven. So that's, uh, well, I don't know the last time I slept in that late. But I also don't know the last time I stayed up that late either. So anyway, so it's been very slow. Dogs have been on their walk. My ankle is feeling that much better again. Still sore, but it's just getting better every day. I don't understand how long it's going to take till it's all better. But anyway, it's getting better. That's the main thing. Kevin really thought she'd go to the doctor. I said, I just, I don't think, after the last time when I really did think it was broken and it wasn't, not much time to me when I did my ankle a few years back in Cairns. Just didn't feel that bad. And it's, yeah, it's definitely getting better. So it's definitely not broken. Well, as far as I can tell anyway, as far as I know. Now I've just set up a little um, uh, clothes drying place. I'll show you in a second in here. In the, oh, I can show you behind me. Just here behind me, shut the door across. They had more than would fit onto the, the small drying rack. This is what we used to use in the laundry in an old place. It didn't just for some things in the mainly in the winter actually too, same as here. Uh, and then I was just putting the basket up the top on top of the wine fridge and I realised it's super warm up there because it's right under the air conditioning. I thought, okay, I'll take some things off, so I've taken some underwear off the bottom of this clothes rack and suck it up there. It'll dry super quick and then maybe I I mean it's also a bit too long. I did take my bras and I put them on the Heat a towel around the bathroom because they're quite a thicker material and they will take longer to dry. So, yeah, <laughs> this is going to work for now. It's too cold outside. It's not going to, I just don't, things aren't drying overnight. So, I'd rather just have a neat, small, compact drying area than the big clothes on that we've got and just have to have it in sight. That is um, better for me. Anyway, I'm up to about a cup of tea numbers four, I think. Uh, I might make myself some breakfast soon, I think. I've been struggling with breakfast a bit lately, and I actually haven't had breakfast for a little bit, besides grabbing some of my roast veggies out of the fridge, which I did actually do earlier. So I find them really good. They're, they're nice, hot or cold or whatever, and just, if I just want to grab something. Uh, yeah, it's a little snack, but it's obviously <laughs> super good for me because it's just vegetables. What was I going to say? I think I might make up some little chia puddings today. Or some overnight oats, I'm not sure. I think maybe some little chia puddings I might try. I've got some strawberries in the fridge, so maybe I'll make up some little chia puddings. I think I've got some little jars. And then they might be a good little breakfast or snack to have at some stage. I've done them every so often, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might have some fruit for breakfast today. I don't know. I've been trying to be more mindful of eating when I'm hungry. And I don't feel hungry right now. 
my tummy's a little bit, uh, bit funny again. I just don't know if I've not been eating enough lately or not, but I'm trying to go on my hunger. I guess my body just has to get used to that a bit. Anyway, I'll have a cup of tea while I decide what else I'm doing. I've got lunch with mum and dad today. And sorry, just distracted by some birds flying through. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned we caught up with Dan yesterday. He was obviously down to take his grandma back up to, or take his grandma, to move his grandma up to Charleville. So he come, he dropped Kevin off yesterday, so I got to see him briefly, which was nice. Uh, yeah. And then Kevin got away last night. I can't remember what I vlogged. I think I did show that. Uh, I can't even talk this morning. I think I did vlog that or talked about that, how I took him over there, dropped him off. Yeah, I did. That's right. I filmed when we're on our way. Goodness, my memory this morning is not good, is it? Anyway, hold on. Maybe I'll. <laughs> I just need some more tea or something to eat. Hmm. But I think we're just going to have a nice couple of relaxed days while he's away. That's my plan. I'm going to try to tap so late though. That was a bit, a little bit silly. Unfortunately, it's not warm enough to sit outside still. I don't think over the next few days. I miss sitting out in the veranda. I mean, of course, I could bundle up, but. I don't know. Maybe, I guess. <laughs> I might have done it yesterday because it was a bit warmer yesterday. and But Kevin was here, so I spent time with him instead. But the puppies got out for their walk, so that's the main thing. And Kevin took them for a little sniff walk yesterday, so. Tomorrow, I'm hoping my ankle will be that bit better again and we can go for a slow walk. The problem is uneven ground's no good, but I can walk on the road rather than on the sort of not snow footpath, but I could walk on the road rather than on uneven ground. But getting up the ramp was a bit, we'll see how it goes today, I guess, last night, a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Walking flat around the house is fine, but yeah. Anyway, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. It's just always annoying because always, these things always happen just when I'm getting in a flow or I'll just get back into my walks and no, off for now. <laughs> I just made myself a little breakfast, so I've just got a couple of corn thins with some avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then tomato on top. So, yeah, it'll be nice. Just thought I'd show you the state of my ankle. It's still swollen, as you can see. I don't know quite why I've got a line there, but... Yeah, I mean, the swelling's gone down, <laughs> but it's still swollen still rather tender through there. That nice black line looks like I just haven't washed but that's a bruise. Did a good job didn't I? Just got ready to, to head out down to meet mum and dad. This is what I'm wearing. Uh, I would have worn my boots but uh, these shoes are probably better than my boots particularly my sore ankle. Obviously my socks do not match though but that's okay because the pants are long enough plan was to go out for lunch but it's very windy and uh i think quite cold out there so i don't know whether they'll do that because we're taking the dogs so uh i don't know i'll head down and we'll see what they want to do but i'm kind of thinking maybe we might bring something in rather than sit outside in the cold with the dog but we'll see i'm sure i've got treats for them puppies one of whom is here beside me and then the ones that i don't know what he's doing Alright, are you guys ready? And then we will head out. Got our lunch, got a nice what? salad. Got a steak. Mum got a snitzel with their swapping. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to eat it all. <laughs> I had a nice lunch, but it's cotton and cold. <laughs> and the sun's gone. Puppies have been very good. On the table, they're getting some chips now. <laughs> <laughs> The only one's crazy enough to be outside now because <laughs> it's really cooled down. Still nice though. I'm back home and weirdly we're getting a bit of a sunset, which is um very weird considering we are facing east where the sun rises. 
and the sun has set over there. Some people got their fireplaces on. Oh, it's a bit nippy out here though. feeling like it's Sunday but it's only Saturday. <laughs> Good thing I've got the chat with the kids this afternoon. No, <sighs> It's crazy windy out there again today and the clouds are just going by so fast but it's a bit on the chilly side so I don't feel like going out to film for you. <laughs> so I can't change from inside though. Well we're not sure how well you can see the clouds with this camera but you can See, in real time, they're going by pretty fast. It would look quite cool in a time lapse, but yeah, you can see it's um, pretty windy. So I didn't wake up until about 7.30. I think I went to sleep about 11.30 last night. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was like quarter past seven by the time I woke up, the sun was already up. I didn't even have to close over the blinds here in front of me. Usually I have to close them up because I get the sun in my eyes when I'm sitting at the couch, but the sun had just risen up by 7.30, so when I come and sort of sat down, so I didn't even have to do that. So how have we got any plans for today? I'm going to have a nice, another nice, easy, relaxed day. So I can do what I want since Cummins are not here. But I can always do what I want anyway, but when you have someone else, and we live with someone else, you try to take in take them into consideration <laughs> but I have to do that today so I'm going to say I'm still kind of waking up I mean it's been a few hours but I'm still kind of in that wake up phase uh, thinking about cups of tea watching some YouTube I'm going to continue doing that for a bit longer I may or may not do some housework we will see <laughs> I probably should I know I should because the house does need to clean I see how it goes. My ankle's doing a lot better, but I still really want to rest it up as much as I can. So it's got to kind of think I could do this, I could do that, but I probably thought I'm probably better off just to have the next two days up to really rest it, and then I reckon by Monday it'll be pretty much back to normal. I'm not limping now, I don't think. Let's see, am I limping? No, um, no, I'm not limping. When I turned then, it was a little bit sore, but no, not limping. So that's good. So we're definitely getting there. <laughs> But we'll see, maybe I'll do things like some surfaces and stuff, like the kitchen surfaces could really need a nice clean. Uh, and then we'll see, I can put the washing away. I didn't put the dishwasher on last night, with having been out for lunch and just having like leftover stuff like easy meals. I didn't really have much in the dishwasher, so I didn't put it on for lunch tonight. Yeah, I'm working on a video. I judge it from my medication for the week. Well, it's for a few days and then I'll do both Kevin and mine when he's back. A little bit of a headache, but yeah, I think a nice easy day. I think a nice bath might be in store. In store? In store. In store for myself. No, oh, sorry, I got coda. Come on through my legs like he likes to do. <laughs> I think it rubs it, it runs so bad of his eyes. He's a good boy. Anyway, I'll check in with you later on or I'll show you if I do anything, but. I think it's highly likely, although I do want to work on my jigsaw puzzle, but I didn't get to doing that yesterday. But yeah, lots of, I'm going to try and get stuck into my videos, and I've also been working on my photo book a bit as well. I think the first part's pretty much done, and I've, but I've forgotten how to make the separate album, so I have to research that again. I just don't retain things in my brain anymore. It's lucky I don't work because I really would, I don't think I'd be a good employee anymore. I mean, I guess you can research things again, but I just forget things so quickly. Like, I, I don't know when I did that a few weeks ago, but I, two weeks ago, maybe a week ago. I don't know. They don't really know that. <laughs> but I can't remember how to do it. So I've got, to, I've got to use Google again to find out how to do the two books. I don't know why I didn't make them both at the same time, because that would have made sense. <laughs> Who knows why I do most things? <laughs> Oh, I need to show you a book that Athena made for me later on, but I'll, I'll do that in a bit. <laughs> Hopefully my headache's gone away. To combine like birthday, I think it's like a Christmas, Mother's Day and birthday present for 
the last few occasions. <laughs> you can probably guess I was not motivated at all today. So I just thought, okay, when I get up, when I've got a tea brewing, I'm just gonna do a little job, start. So I have done all along the up to where the cloth and the co is. I did the range hood as well. Not that good, but did the glass pipe part. Actually, I need to remember to do the pantry door. I might do that while I remember. I'm just going to work my way around. Oh, I can see marks on that door too. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about the dark ones. I'll do that one because I can see that. Leave the fridge for another time. But yeah, anyway, I will just start to do a little bit of work what I can. See if I can get the kitchen clean because I do want to vacuum the floor when the dogs are doing their breakfast hunt at the moment. So there's the dog food, but there's also lots of crumbs. <laughs> Lots of um, bits of fruit and vegetables by the looks of things. I do need to cut up some vegetables for the doggies at some stage as well today. But we'll just get started. It's going to be kind of a slow and steady day. <laughs> oh, I just did a record, but I did record one of those days. Happy that just checking on their breakfast again. Every so often Chewy does a little squeal, but I don't know what's wrong with him. But it's like once a day he'll do it. He just did it then in the bedroom. So I don't know, he walks fine, he was fine yesterday when we were out, didn't, no squeals. I don't know what it is that you squeal about. A few times I think it's been pins and needles in his foot, but other times oh, I do not know. Checked his feet, I mean you think if there's something on his foot it would be regular, it wouldn't just be an odd time. So who knows. Anyway, what I picked up the camera to say was I started doing some more Disney planning. Uh, still obviously very early stages or accommodation is booked but I cleared out the spreadsheet I did for our last Disney World trip and just re-put the dates in and the accommodation that we've got booked and the two Halloween parties that we have booked and yeah my notebook out there as well so just doing it oh, I was doing a bit of that thing back to YouTube for a little bit I'm thinking I'm getting hungry so I might have a have like my brunch soon because <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit hungry I didn't know having the chair put in I sort of forgot about it I've not been very hungry this morning it's had lots of tea just put together some lunch so I've got a rice that was all in the fridge and the rice the brown rice that I cooked whenever I cooked that during the week the last of the tofu <laughs> tofu uh the last of the air fried veggies which are so good I recommend them I'll be making up some more tomorrow and some of the sauce which is now in clumps because it's quite hard <laughs> didn't I couldn't drizzle it on nicely put it that way so having that for lunch and then I'm gonna have to get up and get the doggies dinners sorted get their vegetables chopped and whatnot but yeah that's um my lunch today okay well it took a long time before I finally worked out or stumbled across across the right space to split the photo book so this is now I don't even know where it says but this is uh, part two <laughs> my Alaskan adventure book so just starting to do that go through and have a look at the last I've got to go back through the other one but just to see how I'm going but I'm gonna get up now and go to the dogs vegetables it is crazy crazy windy isn't it crazy windy pups? You've been such good boys. They've just been oh, snoozing all day long. So we need some stretchies after it's been under the blanket here on the couch. <laughs> Pretty much. I haven't done any more cleaning since before, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Go and get this food. Oh, sorry, Uncle. Cool. Gotta get up. The wind gusts are incredible. Okay, sorry, Doc. Oh, okay, better get that cushion. I was wondering about the cushion, but they seem to stay on. But now it's on the ground, so I might go and rescue all them since they are hers and doing them blowing away. Because you imagine a light cushion would just be gone. Oof. That hurt my ankle just getting up. Another reason we are not doing much today. Well, I have gotten up, chopped up the dog vegetables, cut some, cut some potato for the dinner. It's done. So I'm just waiting on the vegetables to finish off for tonight and then I can dish up their dinner. I was contemplating going and 
working on my jigsaw, but I think I'm going to sit back down and work on some videos for a bit longer. Then I'll do my jigsaw and then probably have a nice bath to warm up and then get ready for bed. Even though I'm wearing some pyjamas, I'll put some pyjamas on. It's going to be a jammy weekend. I mean, it's yucky out there. And it's some um, cold. I went out to get the rescue those the cushion and now my hands are really cold plus from doing stuff in the kitchen. So haven't done any more cleaning. Did sort out a bit of stuff in the fridge, but I will just potter away or do you need to refill medications? Ugh. I might just do that for the couple of days. I'll do that quickly. Oh, there's all water on the floor. Okay. I dropped the lid and it must have been all steamy. And the potatoes. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, I've just been trying to tidy up a little bit. Just need to get back on top of things. <laughs> and I need to redo my bag with seasoning, but I'll put that over here with my. Hold that over here with my recipe stand. And it won't take long. I've got my little recipe there so I can, can now make that up. Oh, and I might have another cup of tea because, it, as I said, it's cold. Before I sit down, I'll do it while, I'm, while that's brewing, I'll redo my meds for a couple of days. Well, I spent enough time staring at my computer screen, so I'm going to work on my puzzle. So this is how much I've got done. So you can see I've done quite a bit. It's a bit of more of a challenging puzzle for me, this one. But we're getting there. It's still enjoyable. Put my light on. Makes a big difference. Scrap. Oh, and... I roll away which I'm sitting down in this chair. And I'll work on that for an hour or so probably. Oh, I should just stop the dog's dinner. I'll do that when I get up. I probably should get up to the toilet anyway because I've been drinking more tea. Oh, good thing. The weather couldn't get any worse. It's now raining and windy. I've been getting rain warnings all day and it hasn't come to anything but now I don't know, I've got a warning and of course it's raining. Crazy weather. Okay, a certain puppy. I mean, this one is getting a bit impatient because it's near dinner time. So I'm going to go and dish up his dinner. That's him up to on the puzzle. It's still windy, but the, that rain just blew through real quick. Anyway, that's enough of that. Oh, it's cold. It's chilly. As always, I just always end up. I said easy to set a puzzle, isn't it? In the dark for you guys, look at the camera, it's a bit lighter. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, 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 lights are out. Why are lights out? Why are the lights out in here, puppies? Does that mean we blew a fuse or we've lost some power? That's a bit odd. Oh, I didn't even have them on. How weird is that? The mummy got up late. They're always on. <laughs> That's confusing me. All right, I'll just shut the dinner and then they can have that. I'm not quite sure Coda's doing over in that corner. <laughs> but anyway, while the dogs read the dinner, I'm running the bath. I'm over to here because it takes a while to run up. Such a big bath, but she it's just for one person. But I'm cold, so I've got to warm up. And he must be after a toy. Clean the bench, I've encoded the bench. Haven't, and I've tied it up over here, but I haven't, um, still haven't done from the sink downwards. But I did a bit more. I uh, folded up some blankets, <laughs> did a little bit of a tidy up. So, house is looking better. I was soaking this, but I realized I do not, I'm soaking, what is it, a cloth that I had a big soup disaster last night. I didn't film it, but gosh, there was soup everywhere. Um, <laughs> we won't talk about that, but anyway, I had to soak a little um, bowl. Things. Oh my goodness, what a pretty sunrise again. Sunset. Can we see? Oh, it looks more orange, I think, than it's more pink in real life. Very pretty. There's some unknown object in my backyard. But I'm going to put this on top of the laundry tub because it doesn't really need to sit in the kitchen. Yeah, we're looking a lot better. I'll try and get this last little bit cleaned up when my dinner's heating up later on. I'm just having some uh, lentil soup later on. 
I might have mentioned at one stage, we're going to, I was going to come in to build a shelf through further there so I could put up the baskets and stuff, but he found it was too hard. I don't think there's any support for anything there, so we're just making do. <laughs> it's going to be so nice when I can organise properly when we move. Right, we're, we're, we're doing okay here. Yeah. Experience. They've just had their, their um, biscuit that they have for going to bed. Have you dropped it all? I don't think you dropped the crumbs in the bed. I hope not. I think you ate it all. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was a bit hungry, so I bought in that little chair pudding that I made. I was going to put fruit on it or in it, but I didn't, so I'm just going to have it as it is. A little snack. I hunted high and low, and there wasn't really anything <laughs> for me to have to eat that I wanted. So this is what I'm having. Anyway, I also got my cup of tea. I'm going to read. Got the electric blanket on. I remember tonight to put it on. That's usually Kevin's job, but obviously he's not here, and I tend to forget. Well, I forgot one night anyway. Oh. I'm still not used to knitting. We don't have. We don't normally use an electric blanket. Well, we didn't used to use one in our old house, but here we need it. It's chilly at night. Anyway, good night. <laughs>